code signal, arcade, add border. Hello everybody, I'm solving code signals add border problem. Um, so let's begin. Given a rectangular matrix of characters, add a border of asterisks to it. So you're given a number amount of strings. Um, looks like they're all the same length. I think that's guaranteed. Yes, so you're given not so you're guaranteed to have a non-empty array. And you're guaranteed that they're all equal length of strings. And you basically want to create an array, a string array, return a string array that returns all of them except when you output them, print them all out, it will have a border of asterisks around it. So I suppose one way to do it is one, find out length of each string. Um, number two, and since we know that you know the length of the strings doesn't vary, we just have to do that. We just need the first string of the array. And once we know the length, we create a set of asterisks that match that length of array because we want to go and return it to the array of string of asterisks. Number three, let's think about this. Um, once we create the length of the string and we create a set of asterisks and match the length of the array. Um, so I guess the first thing we should do is add first set of asterisks to um, a string array. Afterwards, add each word in picture, but prefixed slash suffixed with an asterisk. Afterward, we add, um, finally, add um, another set of asterisks to the string array. Um, so what we can know for sure that string array is going to be equal to the length of the picture array plus two because of the we need the um, you know the border starts with um, the, board, the border the end border and the beginning border there'll be two sets of those asterisks. So let's begin. So first we want to Find, we want to create the set of asterisks that match that length array. So I will just call it ast to make it simple. Ast equals, let's think about this. I'll, I'll just call it set asterisks right here. And what we really need is just the length of one of those words. And since it's not non empty, we don't have to have a check. But you know, during your interviews, it's probably nice to have that check in there um, to see, to make sure it's not empty. So public. Let's see here, I will return the asterisks here. We know what's the length of the, um, that was, um, we want to know what's, we know what's the length of the, one of the words in the picture array, and that's gonna be string asterisks equals, we have this one, because we know that this one is at least two, this one, um, a set of these asterisks is at least two asterisks, two characters more than, um, a finalized version of adding asterisks to each word in picture. So, let's see here, int count equals zero, but the way to count is equal to the length, count plus plus, asterisk plus equals, and just add an asterisk each time. So now we have a set of asterisks to think about. All right, and now, we need to create a string array that is going to be equal to the length of the picture plus two because of the other sets of arrays that you have to income to in, to group around um, this picture array. We need to return that answer once we're done, um, and we need the index to know which part of the string array that we're turning to. I could say the first one is going to be equal to the asterisk array, but for each string in the picture, each word in the picture, we want to um, let's see here, call it zero here. I might as well make this end equals to one because what I want to do is plus, no, I'll make it zero, let's be nice, let's make sense. 
All right, so for each word, I'm going to do answer index is going to equal, it's going to have be um, enclosed, each word is going to be enclosed by an asterisk, a set of asterisks. And uh, once it's done, I want to encompass that one with um, a final set of asterisks. All right, there you go. Submit tests. And it works. All right, guys, I hope you like this content. Um, I know it's, it's quite straightforward and easy. Um, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Um, thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe. All right, see ya.